Ready? Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode in this travel series. In the first episode, we were in Esperance, and in this episode, technically we're still in Esperance, but we are out at a spot called the Cape Le Grand National Park. So from the Esperance Town Centre, we drove about 45 minutes out to the Cape Le Grand National Park, and then once inside the park, we have driven to a spot called Lucky Bay. So Lucky Bay has a campground, which is a few hundred metres behind me, which is where we're gonna be staying. But this here is the spectacular Lucky Bay that is world famous for the resident kangaroos that are known to visit the beach. Literally, just as we started filming this intro video, two kangaroos came out of the bushes and they came right up to us by the car to say hello and it was just so amazing because we had actually been told that a lot of the kangaroos had left the area due to some really bad bushfires earlier in the year. So I'm so happy to see that they're back here and I'm really excited to spend some time with them. Hi, sweet pea. Hey. Hey. You got a puppy girl. But yes, we have arrived a little bit later than we had planned. So we are gonna head over and set up camp because we've got all day tomorrow to enjoy beautiful Lucky Bay and the kangaroo. So we have set up camp and had a delicious plant-based chicken Thai green curry for dinner. It's about 10.30 now, which is a really late night for us as far as camping goes. And that's because we got in later than we had planned. And then the curry took a really long time to cook as well. So we are exhausted. It's been a really long day. Plus, it's really cold outside tonight as well. The wind has been constant pretty much all day. And then the air coming off of the ocean because we're right on the beachfront is really chilly as well. So I would say that our little pop-top tent bedroom up here is the best place to be at the moment. And can we just take a second to appreciate these beautiful little fairy lights that Jordan has decorated our little bedroom with. So nice and homely up here. It adds a really nice touch and I really like it. But yeah, anyway, I am gonna call it a night with the camera and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. We have woken up to a beautiful day out here at Lucky Bay. Still a little bit windy though, but it is set to clear this afternoon. So we thought this morning we would head out and do a little bit of a hike. So there's a few different walking trails that leave straight from the Lucky Bay campground. So we have decided to do the coastal trail and it looks like it's going to be a really lovely walk out up and over these cliffs through here. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow Always been wandering through darkness I'm always listening for a sound to follow Waiting for something to begin Waiting for something to begin which is a spot known as Thistle Cove. It's about a two kilometer walk each way from the Lucky Bay campground and it's quite steep and uneven in some parts. So I definitely recommend wearing enclosed shoes. But yeah, now we are just going to relax and enjoy the view. And then we're going to head back towards Lucky Bay and head down to the beach. that we had hoped for for this afternoon. 
We're down at Lucky Bay and unfortunately all we have managed to do is go for a drive along the beach because as you can probably tell it's blowing an absolute gale. The winds didn't drop off like they were expected to and they're actually set to increase. So by about 6 o'clock tonight the winds are going to be about 50 kilometers per hour. I guess it's just one of these things with Esperance. This weather is not uncommon down here. It's known for being a really windy place but we had kind of hoped for some better weather but that's okay, we still managed to get the drone up and I think we got some cool footage. As far as this afternoon goes, um, I think we're just going to head back to camp, have some lunch and see where the afternoon takes us. While we're back at camp with a little bit of spare time on our hands, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys around. So within the Cape Legrand National Park, there are two separate campsites. One is a spot called Legrand Beach Campground, and the other spot is obviously here, which is Lucky Bay. So both campsites must be booked online prior to your stay. You can't just turn up and hope that a site will be available. And they can be booked online at the Depot website. There's also an entry fee that needs to be paid. It's a national park entry fee. So you can book and pay for that at the time of booking your campsite online. Or um, there's also a booth at the entrance to the park if you want to pay when you arrive. Um, but yes, as far as Lucky Bay Campground goes, there are about 50 or so sites and they are all non-powered. Most of them have an incredible beach view, just like we have here. Um, there is no water at any of the sites, but there is water in the kitchen, which I'll show you guys now. So this here is the camp kitchen. It has got a stove top and then there is some water here. They do have hot water, but this water is not drinkable and it's only to be used for washing dishes and veggies and that sort of thing. Water is really limited out here. It is a remote area, so it makes sense that there's not much water. Um, they actually have to bring it in. So they encourage everybody to bring their own water, which is what we have done as well. As far as other amenities go, just through here, there is a toilet and shower block. So there are solar hot showers. And then they also have modern long drop toilets as well. So yeah, that's camp. So we ended up spending the afternoon back here at camp. We had thought about going and visiting a few other spots within the national park, but we checked the wind forecast and it was pretty constant across the board. Um, and plus we have had a few late nights already and we are always the last ones up at camp. So we thought, we would stay back and get things done and have an earlier night. That was all going really well until Jordan looked across and saw a two meter snake slithering across the road in the campsite next to us. Um, that is now three snakes in 24 hours that we have seen while we've been in Esperance. So I actually forgot to say, we saw a little baby one on the path near the toilets here at camp yesterday as well. So. I'm very on edge as someone who's terrified of snakes, but I spoke to somebody I know who is a snake expert and she said that the two meter one we saw right next to camp was a southwestern or southwest, I think it is, southwest carpet python and it's non-venomous. So I'm feeling a little bit better about that, but I'm hoping we don't see any more snakes for the rest of this trip or ever thanks um but yes as far as tonight goes we have just had a simple dinner and we are going to have an early night as we had planned um and hopefully we wake up tomorrow to a bit less wind and lots of kangaroos fingers crossed good night guys morning everyone so it's our last morning here at lucky bay camp we were going to have some breakfast and head down to the beach to hopefully see some kangaroos but turns out that you don't even need to head down to the beach to see them because look at who has come up to camp while we were having brekkie this morning Lucky Bay just to take a little walk before we head off. Still pretty windy today. 
today, but it's much less windy than yesterday, so it's a lot more pleasant today. The sand down here at Lucky Bay is super fine. It's almost like a dust, and it makes this squeaking sound. And I actually can't stand the sound that it makes. It's like nails down a blackboard. But it's this super fine sand and the color of it that makes the water that beautiful turquoisey blue color that it is. And also down here at Lucky Bay, there is this coffee van here called the Lucky Bean. So you can come down, grab a coffee, sit on the beach and relax. And although they're not here at the moment, we've been told that the kangaroos are regular customers down here at the van. Hey guys, so we have just arrived at La Grand Beach Campground where we're going to be spending the next two nights. So this campground is about a 10 minute drive from Lucky Bay Campground, so it's still within the Cape Le Grand National Park. This one is much smaller though, so there's only I think about 14 sites um, and they're much more spaced out and more private, which is really nice. Um, it's a similar kind of setup to Lucky Bay Campground, but I will give you guys a bit of a tour right after we have finished our lunch. Okay, so this here is our little campsite. As you can see, it's nice and private and we've got a nice little bit of shade over here. Literally just the other side of these shrubs is the beach as well. So it's only a short walk to the beach. Now the same as Lucky Bay, all of the sites here are non-powered and there is no water on any of the sites. So again, you're encouraged to bring your own, but there is water in the toilets and the kitchens. So this here is the little kitchen. We have a little sink over here with hot water. A gas burner here and then a grill cooktop thing whatever you want to call it and then we have a little bench here as well where you can eat your food if you want to so yes that's the kitchen let's go and check out the ablution block and this here is the ablution block so i obviously won't show you guys inside because cameras and bathrooms is a little bit weird but inside here there are flushing toilets and solar hot water showers as well which is awesome Okay, let's go and check out the beach. And this here is beautiful Le Grand Beach. As you can see, it's a lot more like a beach. It's a really long stretch of coastline, whereas Lucky Bay is literally a bay. But the colour here is amazing as well. And the sand is also really soft and not squeaky, which is cool. So I hope you enjoyed the little tour of camp. I think we are now going to go and have hot showers because as I said before, it's solar hot water and we want to get in before it all runs out. And then we'll probably head down and check out the sunset and see what it looks like from this side of the national park. <laughs> I am sick of ticks. Morning everyone, we're both feeling a little bit tired this morning. My eyes are a bit puffy and watery because I can't stop yawning. Um, we got woken up at about three o'clock this morning with heavy unexpected rain that went for about two hours and Jordan had to rush out in the middle of the night and bring all of our tables and chairs in, then do a sprint to the toilet in the rain. <laughs> Um, and then when we woke up this morning, the weather had cleared and it was really nice and warm and sunny. So we got ready for the morning and then just as we went to leave, another big patch of cloud and rain rolled in and it's now raining again. So we've come out to a spot here. I don't know if you can see it through the rain, but it's called Frenchman Peak and you can hike to the top of it. I think it's about a two hour return hike and it's a class five walk. Um, so we are still hopeful that we can attempt it, but we are just going to wait here for a little bit in the car and see if the weather clears up. Well, there you have it. Not even 10 minutes has passed and the skies are now blue and sunny and you wouldn't even know it's been raining. So let's head to the top of Frenchman Peak and check out the view from there. about 
15 minutes into our hike up to the peak and we've got to a section where the hill is so steep that rather than going straight up, you have to go all the way around following the trail markers to get to the top. We're taking the high road Lay beside me That was so windy up at the summit. We didn't last up there too long. We managed to get the drone up and just take some quick pictures and then we were straight back down out of there. And then as we've come down on the way back, on the other side of the rock, there's like pretty much no wind. There's a little bit here, but in some parts there's no wind at all. It's such a crazy contrast considering how windy and cold it is up the top. But anyway, we are on our way back down now and I forgot to say on the way up, just behind me in here, there is like a little cave slash opening. Um, and as you look through it, um, you can actually see all the way through to the other side and you can see some of the bays within the national park, which is really cool. So yes, we are heading back down now and we are going to have some lunch and then I think we're gonna head down to Hellfire Bay this afternoon because the wind is set to clear. So it should be a really lovely afternoon down there. which is one of the most popular spots to visit in the whole national park and you wouldn't read about it but we have the entire bay all to ourselves so we're feeling very lucky we are going to enjoy the sunset down here put the drone up hopefully get some nice pictures and just enjoy having this incredible bay all to ourselves Hellfire Bay it is such a beautiful spot the wind dropped right off tonight like I said before we had it all to ourselves it was absolutely perfect as for now though we are heading back to camp we're gonna have some dinner and an early night because a we're tired from being woken up this morning and B we want to wake up early tomorrow to enjoy our last morning in the National Park <laughs> down here at La Grande Beach and we thought we would come down to the beach and treat ourselves and have some brekkie because the wind is the best it's been the whole time we've been here so we definitely want to make the most of the last few hours we've got here in the National Park so let's get set up for brekkie Guys, so unfortunately 
unfortunately our time here in the Cape Le Grand National Park has come to an end which means that it is the end of this episode. I really hope that you've enjoyed exploring the National Park with us. It's an incredible part of the world and if you haven't visited already it's definitely one for the to visit list. We are actually going to be heading from here out of Esperance onto the next spot of this little road trip so to make sure you don't miss out on that episode make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any questions about Esperance and the Cape Le Grand National Park just pop them in the comment box below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.